the god of weather. Exactly. And they're saying, you got to worship the god of weather. That way well, there won't be war, and that way there'll be commerce and we can all live. It's, it's repeating itself from the very beginning. And it really is ironic because their whole assumption behind all of environmentalism is that the earth, and particularly its climate system, is very fragile. It's all unstable. So that, for example, changing the proportion of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere from 27 thousand, 10 thousandths of a percent to 39 ten thousandths of a percent can have caused catastrophic climate change. And that doesn't make sense in terms of what we read in the Bible, which tells us that God made the, uh, the heavens and the earth, and when he was finished making it, he looked at it and behold, it was very good. Now, if I were an architect and I designed a building so that if you leaned on one wall, all the feedback mechanisms magnified the pressure of that, your weight on that wall and the whole building collapsed, we'd all say, that was not a very wise architect, right? Why are we saying that the God who designed this creation made the climate system so that that tiny change in atmospheric chemistry could send all, all of it into catastrophe. Back in just a second. Well, that's assuming there is a God, and we all know, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Back in a minute. Back now with Cal Beisner, Cornwall Alliance, and David Barton of Wall Builders, and I'm going to turn it over to David now because this is what we're talking about. Let there be stuff. This is the latest from George Soros. Spooky dude, George Soros. I swear to you, you've got to watch. I think it's uh, episode six of the um, of the Star Wars um, uh, movies where the Emperor is like, <laughs> remember he's sitting in that big spooky chair and he turns around. It's George Soros. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the latest from the uh, uh, Tides Foundation, and this is for kids in synagogues and this will now be found in your churches warning i warned you about a year ago they are coming for your church and your faith they are doing it now let there be stuff make sure you uh keep this uh, episode on dvr and and spread it around and tell all of your friends because nobody's talking about this stuff yet david take us from here and talking about creation, because that's what they're talking about within the churches, in churches, synagogues, is creation. There's really two general views of creation, how it fits together. Uh, the more traditional view is the one that most Americans hold. 84% of Americans to this day, most recent polling, believe that God made the heaven and the earth. So there is, despite all the stuff we've taught for 40 years with right. evolution, 84% still believe God is right. involved. So let me show you how the grid works on this. If I go over here to... To your blackboard. I learned all Hang this on, blackboard stuff Let me stuff ask you a question, David, because I don't know. It, it, people uh, have different religions. Even people in my religion answer this differently. I have no idea how God creates. I believe mm -hmm. God created man and the heavens and earth. I right. don't know how he created. Right. I have no idea. Um, it's not essential to my salvation. What's essential is that God did it. It, it was not done yeah. by us. And so, within that 84%, it's split almost evenly between those who believe in theistic evolution and those who believe in literal age-day evolution. Right, that somehow so, or another it just all appeared. It, it, well, six days, it happened six days, or it happened in eons, whatever it is. But does but, it matter if six days to God, I mean, I don't, I don't think God is like, you know, you know, on time X time going, come on, come on, i got to get this done in one day, his day. The deal is that he did it. Right, and, and whether Because that gives him moral authority to say things past that. If he made it, he can tell us how to operate it and Got use it. it. And, and that's what's important. Okay. And, under that, and that's what we call traditional religious view, right. Judeo-Christian, whatever else you want to call it. Right. What happens is creation occurs in an ascending order. Over that period of time, you start with the inanimate and you end up with the animate. You start with the animate, which is earth. Then over time, you get plants and fish and birds and animals and man. This is the apex of creation right here. Everything was moving toward this. So this is the top of what God has created us, the most, most important thing out there. Least important is the end animal. How arrogant for you to say, I'm playing devil's advocate. But you're right. How arrogant of you to say that you are at the top of that pyramid. Now, see, here's the other side. What you've just articulated is the secular religious view. And there is a secular religious view. The difference is over here, what we do, Ten, ten Commandments. Traditional religious view, we look at the Ten Commandments and say, oh, that's what the religion says, I need to change my belief to conform to that. I need to not kill, not steal, whatever. Over here, they look and they say, I don't like the Ten Commandments. So they'll create a religion that incorporates different changes in the Ten Commandments. It really doesn't mean it's murder. A progressive, it it's a progressive view. That's of, right. It's the, like the a living Lord. constitution. They just rewrite it as right. they want to. It is a religion. And, and they will assemble in, in churches and other places. They have a view, a right. religious view. I, I mean, I, here in California, I mean, you, I mean, you go to churches. I actually went to a church back east where the, the pastor said, 
Now, you know that I don't believe in God. But if there is a God, yeah. we should serve him. And yeah. I'm like, in a church. I mean, that should be that should be on the bulletin someplace. Yeah. Um, but would you put atheists in there, too? Because atheists, that is a religion. I don't Anything understand that, why. It comes from a secular view. And atheism is a religion. We have a number of court cases saying atheism is a religion. Right. Uh, you go through court cases like Walsh. All these Supreme Court cases say whatever you believe so strongly that it affects your behavior is your religion. Good. So I, I can Good. go through all sorts, but yeah, that's a religion. Okay. Now, in that religion, what happens is the most important is the inanimate, the least important is the animate. Well, you go in exactly the opposite thing. This is, this is what's at the top of the apex. Everything centers around this. Everything else serves this. Everything else moves up toward this. And the least important thing out there is man. That's why we can inconvenience man to any degree as long as we can save this. Now, over here, it's reversed around. Man is the apex, and, and we're going to try to make things more convenient. We're going to try to improve his health. We're going to try to improve his longevity. We focus at this, whereas a secular viewpoint will focus at this. This is what they do. And so that curriculum, which is a religious curriculum, is a secular religious curriculum because it puts man at the bottom. Man is, is here to serve here is, here is the Here's the thing here. Uh, if you're here, if you believe have this, then you have these arguments. Well... If I could save all men by killing out, you know, if I could right. save one child by right. killing all the bunny rabbits right. in the world, that's your argument there. Right. Okay. But here you have. Do you remember the poster that we play that we put up on the uh, on the screen? Let me put it up on the screen now. Of I pledge allegiance to the earth. Yes. This you don't have the opportunity to even have that that's question right. of that's right. would you be a good person if you wiped out all of the bunny rabbits you couldn't do it that's right because you're at the bottom of the food you're at the chain that's right right you're at the bottom everything you're the one that's least important in this and, and there's some examples of that i mean you you've got that poster i've got some others that i'll show you too okay have that every one of these things in the secular view they're willing to inconvenience man whatever ask people here in california about the little fish can, oh, I can, know. can they water their 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 um, their agriculture. No, wait, wait, yeah, no yeah. Way. Not, not their, like I lived in Arizona and it's zero scape. Yeah. And you know, look, you're bringing water in to Arizona. You, you don't need, uh, a lot of people move there for their allergies. Stop bringing the trees and the flowers and everything that aren't indigenous yeah. there. Yeah. So that makes sense. But in California, you can't grow food because it inconveniences the fish. Yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah. This, this is why, this is why you go to jail if you destroy an eagle's egg. And you are protected if you destroy a baby in its mother's womb. Animals destroy, over people. Destroy? I never even thought of it. You do. If you yeah. destroy an eagle's yeah. egg, you go to jail. There's yeah. no difference. That's right. You it's kill a human baby. Except, in the mother's look at the it's actually Birds are higher up than man. Yeah. Birds are higher up than man. And, and that's what you'll find in public policy. We will protect every one of those other things more than we will protect man. No, no question about it. And everything has to serve the earth. But everything has more value than man does in that other policy. Do you realize, Did, gentlemen, I just this has really occurred to me. This is, this, is, this is how I think. We've been putting this show together for a while. It just dawned on me. Do you realize how much trouble you guys are in and I'm in now? For put to, I mean, they are going to rip you apart more than you already have been. Rip you apart for this. It. We're used to it. But uh, just right. to make sure that we're not just simply telling a broad idea about this. This is what they themselves say. David Brower, for example, who founded Friends of the Earth, said that if he were to be wandering in the woods someday and found a grizzly bear attacking a child, uh, he would probably defend the grizzly bear because, after all, the forest is the bear's habitat. Prince Philip of England, Prince... He'd uh, come counselor, back as a virus. Yeah, said yeah. if I were reincarnated, I'd like to come back as a killer virus to reduce human populations to a sane level. Back in just a minute. I just wish we were a government-funded entity so we wouldn't have all these commercials because you just missed a fabulous conversation. Um, we are talking about uh, the Story of Stuff Project. This comes from the Tides Foundation. Uh, spooky do George Soros, one world government, yes. Um, he's now going into your churches. Ask your pastor, your priest, or your rabbi, if you see anything like this going to your kids, run for your life. You are in the wrong church. I mean, unless you're an environmentalist that worships, you know, Gaia or whoever it is now. Um, let there be stuff. A spirit-filled response to a consumer-crazed world. I want you to know, 
that we do consume an awful lot. We consume, we are worshiping uh, a different God. Many of us, we are worshiping the God of stuff, the God of a logo or a label. Um, we don't need it. We don't need it. When you know a society is screwed up, when people will stand in line for the new cell phone, that they, they already have a cell phone, they just want that one. We're a little screwed up as a society. Cal Beisner is here and David Barton uh, also with me. And we're talking about this, this uh, upside down world where we're now being taught in not just schools, but now in churches and synagogues. Any doubt in your mind that the progressive left is coming for the kill on religion? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and part of the reason is because traditional Christian faith and biblical faith in America has been the most resistant to yes. the whole progressive agenda. Yes. Poll after poll has shown the people who have been most skeptical about things like, oh, catastrophic man-made global warming or about other environmental mm -hmm. uh, hypes and scares have been those people who, who assert the greatest belief in the Bible. Right. That was the problem. You know this, David. It was the problem in the, in the first real progressive movement in, yeah. the, in the early 1900s. Yeah. And it is the reason why we have had, I actually had a progressive write to me and say, this is such hogwash. Uh, God played no role in, fl in freeing the slaves. Really? Really? Not in his textbook. Yeah, not in, in his other, textbook, yeah. in the, yeah. but in actual history. In actual history. It did. And it also led to the founding of the nation. It was a great yep. awakening. It was God. And that's what they found out in the first progressive movement. If we don't have God, if we don't have him, if we, don't, if we can't control these churches, Wilson, his father was a preacher. Most everybody in the early progressive movement, their father or somebody you. involved mm -hmm. was bet. a preacher. You bet. And yes. they hated it. Yep. Right? It was yep. a twisted version. They hated it. Um, I mean, the ACLU was headed by a preacher in the progressive movement. Americans for Democratic Action headed by a preacher in the progressive movement. It is amazing how many of those progressive organizations yeah. were headed by well, a preacher. Jim Wallace. And Jim Wallace today, he's, he's a, an amazing uh, individual. Who okay. also takes money from George Soros. No. Yeah. It's almost like <laughs> George Soros is the head of the snake. Anyway, um, I, I want to go back to uh, now some things that you have seen in the paper. And I want to... Show you this, uh, America, because this is practical application. This is stuff that is changing. And because of what is called, uh, what is it, growing legal consensus, which our Supreme Court is now uh, recognizing, not the Constitution. Yeah. What does the rest of the world say? Yep. And that's how we make our laws. Listen to some of these stories. Going back to that paradigm where that in a secular religious view, man is at the bottom and plants at the top. Everything yep. else is above man. Here's a great article right there. That article is out of Nature Magazine. Reason Magazine. Uh, excuse me, Reason Magazine. How dare you install chlorophyll kind? And it says that Nature News is reporting the Swiss government's ethics committee on non-human biotechnology has issued guidelines instructing researchers how to avoid offending the dignity of plants. If their projects are ruled to, as a front to plants, their funding will be pulled. Really? The I don't dignity think we of, do that for people. Dignity of plants. Plant. Dignity, you, you can't offend the dignity of plants because plants, okay. of course, are higher on the grid than, now, than people are. In, in all fairness here, and this is one of the things that we were talking about during those evil capitalistic commercials uh, that make this program possible, um, it, 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 it talks about how hybrids are bad, and especially the hybrids that make the plant go sterile. Mm -hmm. um, you know... I'm sorry, but there's no Viagra for plants. I happen to agree with this one because I don't want, but for a different reason. Yeah, that's right. I don't want, I think these hybrids are both good and bad. And when you make them go sterile, which you have to do because Dow has to, they, ha maintain its they have to maintain, yeah, maintain their patent. Yeah. So they have to have you continue to buy the corn. That way they have the money to be able to feed the world. But unfortunately, when we make all of our corn, let's say, go sterile, if Dow goes under, if something happens, we don't we have do natural corn yeah. anymore. Yeah. And it gives power to feed the world to a select yeah. number, whoever holds that patent. And that's very dangerous. But, but here's the difference, Len. Your argument says, I don't want to do that because it may have dangerous consequences for humanity. Because so man, but that's the new Swiss Constitution that. says we For don't want to do that because it might insult the integrity of the corn or of the wheat. 